your design for your brand is quite iconic. The script in particular is unique and I, I don't think I've seen a, a similar script use. How did you come up with that? And um, what what went into, you know, going and trademarking the brand? Because I know that recently you've gone and trademarked it and I think our listeners would be interested to know about how do they how they can protect their brands. Yeah, so um, to be honest, I have no like artistic uh, bone in my body. I can't draw at, but um, I I engage one of my really good mates, the uh, renowned street artist in Port Moresby. He used to do a lot of graffiti, and um, he's the one behind all the artwork um, on Kutiso. His name is Joey uh, J Dog Tutuman. So mm -hmm. I I think of um, the different iconic uh, designs. And then I give it to him and he, he puts a sort of a street sort of art um, take on a traditional motif. Um, the logo, because um, he was in that, that sort of graffiti sort of um, background, um, he just did it. He did a couple of um, samples for me and that was the one I liked. And yeah, so recently um, we've um, obtained, um, oh no, it's, it's, we've, we've lodged for a, global trade trademark on the Kuti Sox brand name. And um, we completed our objection period mid-October and we are waiting our certificate to make it uh, official. So Kuti Sox will be owned and um, yeah, by, by me. That's fantastic. So and, almost uh, worldwide. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, um, and uh, it was critical from the onset I started the brand that um, I wanted to protect it as well. And I think um, now that we finally obtained it, because go all the way around the world to check all the WIPO countries, and that very took a while. And once it got here, we just waited for three months objection period. So uh, we're, we're really happy that we've got that, and um, hopefully we can um, show other SMEs and small businesses that you can start small and you can, um, you know, you, you can explore other different markets straight from um, small Pacific like ours.